Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 29th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Look at earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. And always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we had no major solar flares thwarted our way, or CMEs set to get a glancing blow from a small CME. But otherwise, no major events to report here. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see that large plasma filament eruption, solar flare on the backside of the sun, visible there in the cresting imagery. A couple sunspots getting ready to crest in. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we have eight sunspot regions getting ready to turn away. And again, no major solar flares, only seeing about a C-class range. But I wanted to show you here a close look at that large plasma filament eruption there from a solar flare on the back side of the sun. Amazing images. Solar or solar Dynamics Observatory, now we're sharing here a multi-spectrum active region there, noticeable from that solar flare. Plasma filaments connecting coronal holes there. And this is where we can see our coronal hole regions. They are the blackened regions on our sun. Getting ready for an Earth-facing event, we have two coronal holes turning in. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed in with daily events worldwide. Having a closer look at sunspot regions as well, all of the activity on our star. As we have 10 sunspots all together, eight right there, and then another two cresting in. As we're going through kind of a quiet right now. Having a look at space weather conditions currently, there are none. Solar X-ray flux remains in a small, moderate C range. Seeing three C-class solar flares the last 48 hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP1. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 379 kilometers per second after being up to about 450 kilometers per second yesterday. Watch for that all to change as we are set to get a glancing blow into the first week of June but also seeing some activity coming in for the next 48 hours. Watch for solar winds to increase and as well the pressure. Earthquake live stream will be back up right after the daily due, about an hour after. Having a look here, Lasco 3, showing the last 48 hours events taking off from our sun. And as I said, no major solar flares heading our way, but showing a couple events, one cresting in, and as well, one in the northeast region of our sun, taking off top right there. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Please don't forget to smack that like button and maybe share with your friends and family. Keeping humanity aware and prepared here with daily events worldwide. Now we're at earthquakes here, and we just had a pretty deep earthquake. 616 kilometer depth, Vanuatu region. 5.0 magnitude and we've only 5.2 is the largest that we've seen the past 24 hours expecting something bigger here soon 3.6 here greenville australia pretty rare place for an earthquake i don't report earthquakes there at all actually activity through papua new guinea and as well eastern indonesia 4.7 there by luatolo philippines seeing a 4.6 and as well a 4.6 up up here in eastern russia Sakhalin, Indian Plate, 4.5 magnitude, Bamboo Flat, India, and as well up into Nepal, Northern India there, Northeastern India, 4.5, 4.8, Owen Fracture Zone off the Somalia Plate, 4.5 there, South American Plate, active as well, Argentina, 4.9, and northward, 4.9 there, Peru, 5.1, northern Peru, and as well, 5.3 in Aratoka, 
Colombia. That is the largest, actually, the last 24 hours. Increasing activity through Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. A little bit concerning. We're going to be watching that over the next 36 hours. And quiet across the North American plate. No major earthquakes to report over Hawaii either. No swarms. We're sitting at about just over 200 earthquakes the past 24 hours. And this is a glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. And we have not seen a large earthquake here in about seven days. So keeping an eye on our world, as we just saw that very deep earthquake, got this concerning situation through the Caribbean, earthquake swarm and very deep through the region, South America, having a look at South Pole versus the North Pole. Heads up, we're going to expect a larger shallower earthquake the next 24 hours. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, and as well as showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world. Looking at about 187 active hazards right now, and a lot of them coming up. Floods through South America and as well Central Africa. We're trying to find the volcanoes here. Starting out with Sabancaya in Peru about two hours ago. As well, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangue in Ecuador, Popocatito in Mexico, Ibu in Indonesia, Luotolo in Indonesia. And we still have an active and erupting 48 volcanoes across the world. We're going to show you here right after satellite imagery from across the world, show you the SO2 models overlooking the Pacific. And as well, the West Pacific there, we have tropical cyclone Marwar, who is just grazing the northern Philippines, getting ready to head straight north towards the Taiwan shorelines. We'll have a quick look at the long-range forecast coming up. Lots of moisture moving in through uh, parts of Iran and Iraq right now. And this is our SO2 models, as we did have quite an eruption, continuous eruption at um, Popa Paquerito in Mexico. Still watching a large SO2 plume come out of there, literally stretching across the Atlantic and over into parts of northern Africa. Also an eruption at Etna. Still seeing quite a bit of SO2 coming from that region. And that's why we do have an active and erupting 48 volcanoes worldwide. Notable there, lots of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka and as well the Aleutian Islands. Over the past couple days, apparently we've seen a lot of pressure being released through Alaska. And then overlooking uh, the prairies, northern Canada and up into Northwest Territories. Massive wildfires breaking out in the Northwest Territories, Northern Alberta. Having a look here at satellite imagery, showing a system moving through, but then parts of Northern Alberta towards Fort McMurray. Some fires breaking out there today. This is the most recent region, most recent satellite imagery, and the region I'm talking about right by Fort McMurray. So heads up, stay safe out there, Albertans, and much love. I miss you all. Now let's have a look at world weather as we do have a system that's lingering around the East Coast set to bring showers and possible thunderstorms down into Florida. Daily evaporation rains across western parts of the United States and Canada. Low pressure system moving through Saskatchewan, Manitoba. But other than that, pretty much dry through the east and scattered showers throughout the west. Having a look at South America and Africa, daily evaporation rains, long range forecast, pretty big system rolling through the South Atlantic. Quick look over Europe, precipitation forecast as you have daily evaporation rains as well. Lots of snow left on those mountains, so warm temperatures drying up and melting all that snow. And then overlooking the Indian Ocean, we do have 
two tropical cyclones in the long range forecast one heading up into the Indian Ocean and as well one heading up into the Bay of Bengal through Myanmar. Already seeing some pretty strong cyclones. Be interesting to see what the hurricane season brings us for the Atlantic anyway and as well the Pacific but mostly North America being affected this week and next week Long range forecast, stay tuned. Big system there, south of Australia, set to bring in some moisture. Leave you here overlooking the Pacific Ocean, as there's not much for moisture heading across. A lot of it is heading up north into Alaska. Big high pressure ridge across central regions, equatorial. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.